National Museum Day. So for today's celebration, we are going to be creating a simple painting in the style of Jackson Pollock. Um, so you can see an example here of the drip painting, and we're going to use a stencil to create negative space that will um, create an image in the painting. And so I don't know if you know this, but Jackson Pollock actually lived right here on Long Island with his longtime partner and fellow artist, Lee Krasner. And you can actually visit their house and studio in the Bronx. They have a museum there. So today I am going to show you how to create a painting like this. Okay, so in your kit, you're going to receive some paints. Now these are just normal acrylic paints that have been thinned out with a pouring medium. You want it to have a nice thin, pourable, drippable consistency uh, to get this splatter pattern effect. Uh, if the paint is too thick, it'll be hard to get off of your brush and onto the canvas like that. Um, you're also going to get a plain piece of cardstock. So what you would do with this is you can either draw or print from your computer right onto this, a stencil that you're going to cut out. So I just found a simple piece sign online and I printed it out on the cardstock and then I cut it out. So I have my shape here that I'm going to use for my painting. Um, so yours is gonna be blank, but you're gonna create a stencil by either drawing on it or printing on it and then cutting it out. You are also going to get a few empty cups just in case you want to mix any of your colors together. You're also going to get a squeeze bottle and what you can do with this is take one of your paints and pour it into this uh, because you can actually use this to just drip directly onto your canvas instead of using the brush. So I already poured my copper metallic paint into here to use this. Uh, you're also going to get a craft stick for mixing your paints if you want to do that as well as some tape on here that we're going to use to attach our stencil onto the canvas. What you will also need is a cup of water and some paper towels and then of course if you're going to draw your stencil you'll need a pen or a pencil to do that. Oh and also you will get a paintbrush in your kit as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to attach our stencil onto the canvas. So I'm going to just take off some pieces of this tape and put it on the back of my stencil, just rolled up like this. So I can attach it to the canvas. Just like that. Now, for your stencil, you want to choose a pretty simple, easily recognizable shape because your outlines are not going to be super defined with this splatter painting. So, you know, looking at this, you can tell it's a peace sign because we know and recognize that shape very easily, right? So you would want to choose something like that or maybe even like your initials of like your first name or something like that. So I could do like an M for MCPL or an L for Liz, that's my name. Or you could do a symbol like a peace sign. I'm just going to put a couple more pieces of tape on here because you want to get it pretty flat to the canvas so the paint doesn't run underneath it too much. If it bleeds a little bit underneath, that's fine. You can see on my example here, there's a couple spots where it bled a little bit, but it's fine. All right, so I've got my tape on there and now I am going to attach my stencil pretty much just in the middle here, I think, yeah. So I'm just gonna press it down and since this is a stretched canvas, you might want to actually um, flip it over so it's flat against the table and just rub it like that. There we go. Perfect. Now, you can see I already prepared my workspace by putting a piece of plastic down on here. And I did actually have 
an apron as well to put on and you will also get an apron in your kit as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now so that I don't get paint all over my clothes. All right, so I've got my apron on now to protect my clothes and I am gonna go ahead and get started with my paint dripping. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can drip and uh, splatter with the brush and you can also use the squeeze bottle. So I'm gonna show you both. So I think I'll do some orange first. And I'm gonna get my brush a little damp. And you're gonna load up your brush with this nice thinned out paint. And you're just gonna start waving it over your canvas just like that to start splattering it with your paint. So a couple other ways you could do this is by tapping your brush. It gets a little bit more off and creates a little extra splatter. But I like to just kind of wave it over. And sometimes you get like a, like a line effect like that, which looks cool, I think. So you want to go from pretty like you know a few inches away from the canvas just like that and just get some good coverage especially around your stencil because you want to get as much paint as possible around those edges so you can see the image right all right so i've got a pretty good amount of orange on there now i'm going to rinse my brush off and I'm going to add some purple. So this goes pretty quick, as you can see. I already am like totally done with one of my colors. I'm going to start adding another one. This paint is a little bit thicker, which I like because sometimes then it like catches on the brush like that and makes those cool lines. And I kind of like to wave my brush in the same direction too, so you can see I'm going like this and not like all over, because it'll kind of like make the lines all go the same direction, which I think looks cool. But you can do it however you want. So I'm trying to make sure I get my corners too. This is coming out pretty good. I like all these lines that I'm getting. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush again. I'm gonna put a little bit of black, not a ton, because I don't wanna like totally cover it with black, but I'm gonna give it a little splatter here and there just for some extra depth, right? like that coverage. So you can also kind of drip like this to get more round, big drops. There we go, and I think that's enough black for me. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of green. Ooh, my stuff is popping up a little bit there. I'm just gonna push it back down. go with our green all right awesome I like these colors it's kind of like very 80s with the neons which I always like a good 80s pattern you can also do some like pretty heavy drops like this I want to create some extra shapes and lines which looks pretty cool, I think. And again, we want to make sure that we're really focusing around the uh, shape of our stencil so that once we pull that off, you'll really be able to see the image that it leaves. All right. 
So that's pretty much all you have to do with the brush and the paints. Now, so for the squeeze bottle, like I said, I poured um, the copper metallic in here already. And I'm just gonna give it a good shake to make sure it's all mixed really well. And now, so you can twist this to open it as much as you want. You can open it like just a little bit or open it all the way and that will kind of control the flow of your paint. So I'm gonna open it kind of just a little bit and then I'm just gonna start squeezing like that. And so this is just gonna add some really big like splotches. So you can see the drips that you get from this are a little bigger than the ones you get from the paintbrush, right? But I really like this copper metallic color, so. And you might not have these exact colors, but you should have at least one metallic color and then a few other ones to choose from. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now, what you wanna do is make sure that you let this dry um, before you take the stencil off because you don't wanna accidentally smear your paint while you're taking the stencil off and ruin your image. So I'm going to let this dry and when it's done, I will take off the stencil and we'll be able to see the image that we created underneath. All right, so I removed our stencil and you can see our finished creation. This was a super fast and easy project, but it's a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed making it and definitely check out the uh, Pollock Krasner House Museum so you can see Jackson Pollock and Lee Krasner's home and studio. It's really cool.